Hi, LitJoy subscribers. This is Lisa Maxwell, the author of The Last Magician. This book is about a time-traveling thief named Esta Filosic who has to travel back to 1902 New York in order to stop a magician from destroying a magical book that could save all of magic or destroy it for the future. I did a ton of research for this book. I read more books than I want to think about, but I also went to New York a couple times and walked through the streets of the Lower East Side and the city. Um, so I wanted to make sure that the New York of the past was recognizable to people today, but I also wanted to make sure that I got the historical parts right, or at least as right as I could, even though um, the whole book really is steeped in magic. Okay, I have some questions that the lovely people over at LitJoy have given me to answer for you. So let's get started, shall we? Um, number one, what is something I admire most about my main character? Well, um, I think the thing that I love most about Esta is how strong she is and how adaptable she is. She has been trained since she was a tiny child to do what she does, which is travel through time and steal stuff. She's talented and she knows she's talented. Um, she doesn't shy away from that, but when she makes mistakes, and she makes mistakes, she learns to adapt really quickly. Um, and even when she's faced with these truths that she has to confront about who she is and everything she thinks she knows about the world, she's able to assimilate that information change and move on. And I love that about her. Um, I love that she can be vulnerable and soft in certain moments, but that at her heart, she's loyal, true, and probably one of the strongest characters I've written yet. Okay, question number two. What is my favorite character in the book and why? So putting aside Esta and Hart, who are my two main characters, I have to say that the character that I adore in this book is Dolph Saunders. Dolph is a really complicated character and I feel like his arc is really realistic in the sense that he's not easy to pin down. But I love him. Like I love his strength and I love his um, kind of broodiness and um, he is definitely one of my favorite characters that I've created in all the books I've written. Okay, it's time for lightning round questions. Ready? Uh, morning person or night owl? I like staying up late, but I work better in the morning, so I am a begrudging morning person. Um, one word to describe myself? Stubborn. Uh, two things I can't live without? I would say coffee and my family because my husband and kiddos are everything to me. And guilty pleasure. Well, I don't really think pleasure is, should be guilty, so I don't really like the idea of identifying shamefully with something I enjoy, but I will say that I love me some kitschy stuff. So if there is like a cheesy roadside attraction or an overpriced tourist attraction, like Graceland or something, um, I'm basically all over it. Okay, that about does it for me. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, I really appreciate it. Lit Joy Crate subscribers. Uh, I hope you love The Last Magician as much as I have loved writing it. Um, be sure to check out some of my other books. My last book, Unhooked, is a dark and twisty Peter Pan retelling with a sexy pirate. And I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't like a sexy pirate? And also be sure to kind of keep a lookout for me. I'm doing some events in July and August to help kick off the launch for The Last Magician and then I'll be some other places through the fall so you can find that information at the end of this video um, or on my website so um, happy reading and thanks again for watching.